Passover is going well. Ashley seems to be confident with the dish and she's happy with my choice. We are making a rolled chicken thigh with a chicken jus and a fettle and crepe puree. And now I need to roll up the chicken. And then ready, hopefully, for the next person to start cooking it. I think Billy did a really good job. She was pretty clear on the dish. Is that, is that actually? Yeah, yeah. Totally. That, looks, that looks awesome. Go on your face. Our dish is mussel and coconut broth. At the moment, I'm just de-bearding these mussels um, and just getting them prepped, ready to go. Oh, she's got the mussels in. Oh, yes. Captain has definitely made a good choice with the dish. It's going to taste beautiful. It's nice and simple. It's achievable. We can all do it. So, yeah, I'm happy as. Uh, yeah, so Melita has picked the dish today. She's decided to make a seafood bisque with a poached lobster tail. Not having made a lobster bisque, I'm, I'm nervous about the fact that I have to take over. I'm not exactly sure what the flavour should be. I'm not really getting a lot um, of a lobster flavour from there. It just sort of seems to taste tomato-y. I'm thinking about how I can enhance the flavour of this bisque and I've decided to add just a little bit more wine um, to help it along. When I see Rose uh, pour the wine into the stock, I go, OK, it must be ready to go. You're pouring the wine in, great. And then she keeps pouring. And then pouring and pouring more. And I'm going, oh, that, that looks like a lot of wine. Half a bottle's gone there. Yep, that'll do. Good girl. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> the bisque needs to be perfectly balanced. Oh, Rose. It could be the make or break of the dish. Ten minutes down, five minutes only to go. Let's move it. You're joking. God. It would have been great to have a crispy taco to go with this dish, but without masa, that's impossible. So I'm forced to make a plain flour tortilla instead. I think plain flour ones will be fine if they're done correctly. How you going? I was just going to come and have a sneaky look because I saw you making dough. Yeah, no worries. What are you yeah. making? Um, yeah, I'm making, I made a, we're making a makeshift tortilla to go with the dish. Makeshift tortilla. <laughs> Why are you making a makeshift uh, well, tortilla? Yeah, that's no really soft, masa isn't it? Masa harina. Um, uh, tortilla dough is really firm, isn't it? He says that the dough should be a lot firmer. Are you a bit worried about this dish? Um, as long as you're confident with the, the tortilla. This dough hasn't worked at all. I've pretty much wasted my entire 15 minutes. Hopefully, the person who comes in next knows exactly what to do. You've got 45 seconds. Starts now. This is. Yep, five tortillas. We don't have any masa flour, so I'm not confident with it. So, Jamie tells me that he's made flour tortillas, but they haven't worked. Five tortillas, five tortillas. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I think we might be in trouble here, because I've not made them either. Not a good situation to be in. Lemon juice, mussels, garlics, onions. So we're making coconut, a broth out of this? Uh, mussel and coconut broth. We're going to follow the dish that Jared has set. It tastes really nice. Um, I think it just needs time. That's it, time's up. Departing contestants, follow me. All right. OK. OK. I think the dish has progressed enough, and it's basically the basis of a great dish. And I'm happy that, you know, there's 45 minutes left to go on it, and by the end of it, it should be absolutely delicious. Look at this. I look into the pot, and I see the brass and think to myself, I definitely want to improve this dish. The thing I'm following is my instinct. I'm really excited about the muscle broth. I've got full confidence in John's cooking ability. And I know he'll do a top job in enhancing the muscle flavour in our broth. Oh, what's he doing with lobster? I don't know. He said to me, should I put more fish in it and get it more flavoursome with the fish? And I just went, well, it's a mussel and coconut yeah. broth. I was just trying to make it simple so it wasn't too yeah, hard to, to yeah. communicate down the line. Yeah. John grabs lobster, scallops and even prawns. I'm a bit worried that all that seafood will overpower the balance of the mussels and the coconut. But I think we might have even bigger problems. 
He's gone back to the pantry again, and I'm really starting to panic now. What's that in his left hand? Is it chocolate? What does he do? It's white chocolate. Now I'm really freaking out. What is he doing with white chocolate? What does he do? John. There's a coconut muscle bog. John, 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 come back to your bench. Put everything back. It's a tomato, muscle, saffron broth. You know, and the seafood's fine, you know, like... Yeah, seafood's fine, but what's he doing with the white chocolate? It seems like John's definitely gone rogue. John comes out of the pantry with a blue chocolate block. I'm pretty sure that's white chocolate. If John goes rogue, this dish could be ruined. What are you guys making? Muscle, coconut, tomato, basil broth. Okay. But John's gone and grabbed prawns, which is fine, but then he's grabbed salt, and then he's grabbed white chocolate. Oh. Johnny! Like, yeah, I'm absolutely, like, flabbergasted. What are you doing? I told him what the dish was. He's just gone and got new ingredients. Come on, you're doing Right, this is round three, obviously, and it's five minutes down already. Ten minutes to go. Make it count. Um, I've changed the dish. Um, basically, I'm going to use the basis of what they've started with, and I'm going to change that into a, um, a white chocolate velouté. He's making a white chocolate velouté as well. Oh, my son's Oh, how do you know that? Because I just read his lips. A velouté is a white sauce and it's thickened with uh, flour, cream and butter. But uh, for this one, I'm going to be infusing it with white chocolate. But why is he doing that? With the I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. I know exactly what's going on now. This dish is just beyond complicated. It's going to definitely overwhelm whoever comes next. Rose tells me we're cooking a seafood bisque with a poached lobster tail, um, some braised and charred leeks and a pan grattato. I am dead centre in the middle of the cook at number three, so it's kind of a turning point. So I dip my spoon in and I taste the bisque and my heart sinks. They haven't, uh, haven't cooked out the wine. They haven't sweated off the onions enough. Um, and the, the taste balance is, is all out. It's not right. There's just no flavour in there. There's no crustacean-y flavour. I'm going to have to do something about it. I think that Melita has done a fantastic job of choosing the dish. Fingers crossed. I know that we have 45 minutes left and I know that that's plenty of time to make a beautiful, punchy bisque. I want to make Melita proud. This needs to be crushed more. It hasn't been broken down at all, and I know that the fundamental part of making a bisque is getting those shells nice and broken down so you can extract all that crustacean -y flavour. I like what you're doing, Christina. You're correcting this, aren't you? I don't well, yeah. yeah. Why what that? do you think's wrong with it? It's too acidic. It's too acidic. I need to sweat off some more um, shallots and garlic, and that lobster isn't coming through strongly enough for me. It really does look like she's trying to build up a whole new flavour base, so... It's like she's doing an amazing job. Yeah, like, absolutely. She's just doing what she has to do. She knows what she's doing. Ten minutes down, five minutes to go, come on! Come on, Work. guys, let's go. Work! I feel really happy with this dish. I think Billy's picked a perfect dish for our team. We're making a chicken uh, roulade with fennel and carrot puree and a chicken jus. Right, Jessie's doing well, I think. Um, just setting everything up for the next person, which is ideally what you want. <laughs> I know it's really important for me to get the chicken on to make sure that it can cook um, by the end of Sarah's cook so that it can be all ready for Reynold to sear and plate. The communication was good, um, so I know exactly what the dish is, so I can pass that on to, um, to Ava, who's next up. Jamie tells me that he's made flour tortillas, but they haven't worked. J yeah, Jamie wasn't happy with this bread, so he's asked me to make it again. I'm really not confident making flour tortillas without a recipe, so I decided to make some flatbreads. They're simple and easy, and hopefully they'll do. It's just flour and yogurt which, to be honest with you, might not be the best idea and not really fitting with the sort of the Mexican prawns. Hopefully, I'll get away with it. Johnny, what are you doing? Why are you doing the weight? 
chocolate velouté with a coconut broth, mate. Okay. Not being able to communicate with John and trying to rein him in is really frustrating. John, 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 John. I'm just screaming at the TV. Coconut and white chocolate. Yeah. Like, it's just one simple broth with seafood. Like. They might be telling you that now. Gee, there's a whole lot more going on here than when we first came. What are you doing? They started off with a broth, with a mussel broth, and I thought that beautiful um, broth flavour would go well with a um, coconut milk, and I'm actually going to add white chocolate to it as well. Say that all again. So I'm doing a white chocolate velouté. Was that part of the original dish? No, they were actually going to do... They just gave me a... Can I ask you a simple mussel. question? And then I will stay quiet. Are you going back to your old habits? I'm going to keep it simple, so I'm just going to have a White chocolate velouté. So white chocolate velouté and what? I'm actually going to do scallop and lobster. So the lobster is going to be um, seared. Yeah. Just play in um, butter. Yeah. And the scallop will be um, a tartare. You, you know what I was going to say? You know what I was going to say? It's great that you have these kind of wild and wacky ideas and it's clear in your head, but you've got to translate all of that to the next contestant mm -hmm. and they're going to stand there and go, white chocolate, muscle velouté. Do you think white chocolate works with shellfish? It does. Then I look forward to tasting it. Yeah. <laughs> you can teach me something for once. I'll become your apprentice, John. <laughs> that wasn't the response I was looking for, but it looks like I've ran out of time. Good luck. Come on. Your 45 seconds starts now. Jesse, what are we making? Okay, so we're doing a chicken roulette, which has gone in like two minutes to go into the water. A lobster beef. Yep. Um, uh, poached lobster tail. 20 seconds down. So we're doing a prawn, griddle prawns yep. with five flatbreads. Yep. I think it's a little weird that we've got flatbreads rather than tortilla. What we're doing is... I um, started the um, velouté. I did expect to see a little bit more order on the bench today, but it's complete chaos in there. What's and the dish? So what we're doing is a seed scal... Um, 30 seconds down. Seed lobster. Uh -huh. He's going to be a scallop tartare. I start getting a little bit overwhelmed at all the elements that he's describing to me. No, just... In a little jug, yeah, poured at the end. Around the Five, to the sauce, four, the tartare. Three, to go on the velouté. Two. John hands me a block of white chocolate and tells me this is for the velouté. White chocolate and this. White chocolate and cream. In the velouté. Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. And I'm so confused. It's going to do it. Is this Jared's dish? John comes into the room and I don't really know what to say to him. What are you doing? What is it? What are you doing? What is it? What is it? It's going to be a white chocolate velouté. The coconut broth I'm changing into a sauce. It was just like a, a coconut, tomato, basil, saffron broth. With mussels. With, with, you could have added a lobster and stuff, but what's, what's the white chocolate velouté? I've added that broth into it. And it's going to be, we're going to be adding white chocolate. But that's not the original dish. You passed on to me the but white said, the coconut. No, I said mussel broth with coconut milk yeah. and tomatoes and saffron. And I've added chocolate to it. And I thought, and I can do... And Yeah. He's just totally decided on a new dish. So we use the mussels in there or not? You can add it to it. The mussels are gone. We are in elimination because of this, 100%. I think the whole challenge was about communication. Oh, oh, oh.